Hi guys, okay, my first impression of this clip where Sky News attempted to question the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Kwasi Kwarteng, was he looked like somebody who was on his way to a court case and couldn't comment because he would likely incriminate himself. Not exactly a Chancellor demonstrating absolute confidence in his own mini-budget, the one that was presented as a solution to the cost of living crisis and a plan to avoid a recession. Have a look at this. Chancellor, what are you going to do about the turmoil on the markets this morning, sir? I'm not going to make any comment now. Thank you. Well, what about the city? What, what conversation are you having with the Bank of England, sir? Do you have anything to say about what's going on, sir? Are you planning to reverse the announcement you made last Friday, sir? What do you have to say about everything that's been going on, sir? Just going to my office now. Thanks. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Okay, that's not a very good look. <laughs> okay. So what are the problems facing the Chancellor and his Prime Minister? Well, as we saw on Friday, as the Chancellor was delivering his speech, delivering his mini-budget, the, the, the value of the pound dropped dropped significantly and it hasn't really recovered. It recovered a little bit on Monday morning but it hasn't really recovered. Now the economic forecast is pretty bleak and you know this it seems that he's going to have a meeting with the Bank of England and they're going to decide either to increase interest rates or lower interest rates. I don't know because this government is completely unpredictable um, but he needs to do something. Uh, the massive drop in the pound is, you know, it's damaging businesses, it's damaging imports, it's making uh, imports more expensive. In things that like gas and um, oil, which are which are traded in US dollars, are much more expensive now. So he has to do something. He can't just let this slide. And a consequence of them uh, delivering this budget, which is of course a hand, hand out to the rich and allowing everyone else to to struggle is not playing well with Tory MPs. I've said this before. This may be a handover. It's a um, funneling cash to the private sector or to donors of the Conservative Party. But individual MPs are not happy with this because when the next election comes, they're go they're likely to lose their seats. A lot of backbenchers are concerned about this, especially in the north, the the so-called Red Wall. Now, a number of letters have gone into the 1922 committee. It's, it's, Liz Truss has just taken over and we could be seeing another leadership campaign. This is insane. There could be an, another leadership campaign within a couple of, couple of weeks, maybe even in a couple of days. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely unpredictable. But Liz Truss's government could collapse at any moment. This is extremely unpopular with the public and... It's trashing the economy. The pound is way down. There is lack of confidence in the UK, uh, the UK government's plan to deal with this cost of living crisis. Tax cuts popular with uh, millionaires and billionaires, but they are not driving the economy. So, if you want to borrow money on international markets, you need to demonstrate that you have a a robust plan to deal with the cost of living crisis and deal with inflation. Neither of those are on the table. That's why the markets are abandoning the pound. Now things may recover, but it doesn't seem likely in the in the short and medium term. Liz Truss, it seems, is on very thin ice. And I think it's quite telling that the Chancellor here did not stop to give an interview and explain, no, don't worry, everything's fine. He can't because he can't deny that the pound has dropped. And, you know, it's supposed to, the pound is supposed to gain in value when a chancellor delivers a plan. The, the market is supposed to say, okay, this is a good plan. This is going to deal with the cost of living crisis. This is going to deal with inflation. And then the value of the pound goes up. But that did not happen. No one has confidence, apart from maybe the chancellor himself, 
you know, I'm going out on a limb here by saying that. But nobody really has any confidence in this plan dealing with these problems. And that's probably why he's off to, the, to meet with the Bank of England and come up with some sort of alternative. If he can't, then it's likely he will be out of office. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.